Yeah. All right, Rob. Let's get to it. You wrote a column on deadspin.com about Steph Curry. I, you can tell me the title. I don't remember the title. This was a while ago. Are you? Is that the one you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. About Steph Curry ruining the game of basketball. When did you write it? I, I don't remember. I have to. I'm going to look it up because it's been a while. But I did. I talked about the three point. Everybody's a three point shooter. Steph ruined the game. I know other people uh, have talked about it. I think Mark Jackson in, in a different light. But I'm just looking at it from the standpoint of how the game has changed, but in a bad way. You know, like I, I, I don't. I'm not against the three pointer. I understand it. But I think everybody thinks that they're three point shooters, and I and I and that's what I think I don't like about the game that it's only three pointers and or dunks, and there's a whole different basketball out there that used to be played, and I'm not trying to set the but you turn the clock that, back. The key is, do you blame Steph? Yeah, because Steph took from this standpoint, and and when you watch that uh, NBA seventy five game well, changes, we, we got your quote. You yeah, no, no, no that not down? that, not yet. But I'm just saying when you listen to it. You know, there are prominent coaches on there saying that he was taking shots that coaches would cringe and coaches would, if it hadn't been anybody else, and if he didn't make them with regularity, I mean, like like that was the issue. If, if Steph would have missed a number of those early on, then people would have had him tone it down. But he was making them. So that made him be even more bold and, and step, you know, at half court and launch and stuff like that, that that people would be like, oh, this, that's a terrible shot. Oh, it went in. Okay, it went in. And then it would be no big deal. And, and you know what? You talked about it, Chris. You were semi-critical, not totally critical, of Jimmy Butler taking that three-point shot in a well, situation. Well, that's the thing. How can you praise that no, shot? No, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm about to say this. And maybe Jimmy Butler and others take threes now that maybe they wouldn't have had we not gone three happy, three ball happy because of Steph Curry. And that that's what I'm saying is that I I could almost blame that shot on Steph as well. Oh so anyway, gosh. anyway, uh, I can't wait okay. to grab the mic. Okay, so anyway, let's play your little your little. Uh, we were we whatever were both the heck on you this. said in the top seventy five show. Yes, we, yes, we, we both were featured in it. And here's Rob's comment about Steph ruining it. It has some text. Curry behind the back twice, leads, fades, fires. It's up. It's good. A three ball for Curry. The shots he takes are shots that most coaches cringe at. What kind of shot is it? Sit down, man. Get out of the gym. Until Steph Curry came along and started to say, hey, I can make these shots. Your bench, you're not playing again. You're running suicides during a timeout. He expects to make every shot he takes, and the fans expect every shot he takes to go in. Steph, step back. Three! He backed it in from the side! Steph ruined the game. Hello? Is this on? Yeah. Hey, yeah, Chris. That's it. Can you believe Can you believe I made it in there that they put in something that wasn't glory of Steph Curry that was a little to the left, a little bit and and I made it in there. I love it. Hello? Is this on? I have got that on. It's not a good look. Me. I don't know why you're so happy about it. <laughs> Cuz it ain't a good look. And first of all, they had this is what Rob said three minutes ago. They had coaches and 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 players and scouts saying how he's taking bad shots. That was Rick Barry, okay, all time great. He can say what he want. And Michael Rappaport. Uh, all right, I love Michael Rappaport. That's that, my man. But that George, don't he ain't no basketball wait a minute. expert. George Cole also said it. He's in there. He's a coach, Chris. George I Cole. Heard Rappaport. No, but here's the, but he here's was the in thing. it as well. I'm just trying to Rob, give you the the, the four one. Anybody worth their salt? We'll tell you, te- Steph Curry from beginning to now takes bad shots. There ain't no question about it. And he's absolutely, they're absolutely right. If you took those shots back in the day, you getting benched. Just like if Jimmy Butler pulls up on a two on three fast break and shoots a three pointer, you getting benched. But here's the point, Rob. You can't blame Steph Curry for ruin. He didn't ruin the game. First of all, the game is not ruined. Game's in a good space, number one. Number two, Steph Curry.
Curry is a phenom. Steph Curry is special. Steph Curry can do things that other people can't do. And what happens when you can do things that other people can't do is everybody emulates you. So, yes, you go out on the playground and kids are taking 30-footers. You go watch them in their little leagues and they're taking 25-footers. Everybody wants to shoot the three. But that's not Steph's fault. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, and that is what it is. Just like, and Stephen A. said it today, we'll get into him and Durant later, but he said it today, and he was absolutely right. Well, he said Jordan ruined the game. I disagree with that, but my point is that if you're going to say Steph ruined the game, which is ridiculous, then you can say Jordan ruined the game. Because the same exact thing happened in the late 80s, early 90s. Michael Jordan was so phenomenal individually. He was so, had so many moves. He was so great in ISO, isolation. No one could stop him. That that's how a lot of kids began playing. Everybody wanted to go one-on-one. And the NBA followed suit. It was Michael was so athletic. That they were drafting players who didn't have many skills, but, man, they could jump out of the gym. They were quick as all get out, all because of Michael Jordan. And if you look at that period of Jordan and and 20 years later, the game followed that that pattern. ISO. Let me get an ISO guy. Let him go one-on-one. And Uh, Jordan, uh that's not Jordan's fault. And no, I didn't but I, make you follow me. You can't do what I do. So go do your stuff. Don't do my stuff. But if it's you the talk, same exact thing with Steph. If you talk to most players, a lot of them, they all say they don't recognize this game. They don't like it. You know that you talk to players all the time. They're like, I I can't even watch this. So what? Well, but but, the, but that, that, that don't mean the not, game is ruined. They're not the, the game is thriving. That, that guys who played in the league who don't even want to watch it or think that it's it's not entertaining to them. And there are plenty of fans, Chris. There are got people really? who don't enjoy are it. At an eight year high. All right, they, this year is working out, but there are people who don't like it. But there are people who don't like it. That's all I'm saying. Rob? No, you but, can say that about anything. Uh, but I'm giving this my ain't opinion. The time to say the game but, is struggling. But I'm giving my opinion that there are people who don't like the game the way okay, it is. Okay, and there's and people who don't look like at, everything. And they don't and they and they blame Steph Curry. I'm not alone. When you open up who the calls, blames Steph Curry? There are other people who are on the same point of view of me. It ain't even like Here's I'm on Rob. some island. I'm You're not on an island. Steph Curry I am. more than the analytics geeks. Yes. Really? I'm blaming Steph it's Curry for Steph taking Curry's ridiculous fault. shots okay. that so happened to go. Win. Then that's his fault. Yes. Why is it his fault that he I can wish, shoot shots I, other people can't shoot? I wish he would have missed, and then they would have stopped him early well, on. Well, you do because you ain't feeling him. But if you just look at it objectively, this is a guy I'm, that could do things other people can't. I'm do. as objective as they come when it comes to sport. Are you kidding me? I'm Steph. the most. I'm the most objective. I'm the one. And who, here's the thing, Rob. Steph Curry isn't playing based on analytics. Steph Curry's playing his game. And the ana- Mike D'Antoni and other analytics-driven coaches and executives in the league, if you really want to talk about messing up the game, that's who you blame. Seriously, they're the ones telling their players, either to, to your point earlier, either take a three or take a shot in the paint. Nothing else. That's not Steph saying that. Steph actually shoots mid-range jump shots. I mean, up until the last couple years, he shot a lot of mid-range jump shots. And even when they were winning with KD, the Warriors shot a lot of mid-range stuff. Clay does too. So they don't buy fully into that analytics thing. So I'm with you. If you want to say criticize the way the game's played, it's not Steph's fault. It's Steph's Steph is fault. exciting. Steph, Steph is-, is fun to watch. Allen Iverson himself said, yo, I love watching this dude. And I know plenty of players who can't watch it who think that the they, game is ruined by three. I don't know three. can't watch Steph. That, that the game Maybe has other been, players, the but game, they can't, the the game I, has who, been, who can't watch Steph? The game has been ruined by threes. And by a lot analytics, of, by, no, not but, by but, Steph. But Steph, because Steph. Steph ain't say, you know what, these are the analytics. Let me start shooting three. No, he's just a great shooter. And he, he is 
changed the way that people look at the game, and everybody thinks they're Steph Curry, and they're not. That's the problem. Did Michael Everybody's Jordan ruin the game too? No, Michael Jordan did oh, not. Oh, really? Ruin the game. No. It was the same with Mike. Everybody wanted to be like Mike. What yeah, are you but everybody, about? but the people didn't. Uh, the, the game didn't change. They didn't Every, try to play like everybody Mike. Didn't they didn't win. Did everybody didn't play that way. Everybody didn't win they that did. way. They tried to no, go they didn't. ISO. Not Teams went ISO. It wasn't Magic Bird. The pass is the beautiful thing. Five man basketball. It was. Let me try to be like Mike. You're being exposed, Rob Parker, for a lack of objectivity. No, what is called? What is called is I'm not. I'm, I'm not Fox. a sheep, and you know Iowa. I don't just nine, follow the nine, flock, six, and everybody's six, following the flock. Can I give flock. out the number? Go ahead, give it eight, out, seven, sheep. Seven, nine, 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 six. I, I ain't no sheep. You're I done sheep. proven. I'm you not already. Not. Go ahead. In every form of life, brother, I ain't no sheep. I want to shave seven, you seven, and make a coat. Nine nine six. Don't talk about shaving me. You ain't getting that close to my body. 877-996-6369. Ah, couple. Fox Sports Radio. This Steph Curry ruined the game of basketball. Ridiculous. All right, here we go. Tim in Spokane. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What up, Tim? Hey, I'm with Rob. I mean, I don't know if it's actually, you know, Curry's fault. I think it's more has to do with palming the ball and carrying the ball, but the NBA has definitely been ruined. It's definitely not basketball the way basketball was meant to be played. It, it seems more like a ISO dunk contest game and a three-point contest. Yep, every night, no well, doubt. I don't mind guys, Rob, saying, you know, they don't like the style of play today. I'm just saying you can't blame it on Steph. The, the analytics is more responsible than Steph. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate the call. Akeem in Queens, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Is this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I'm, I'm so excited to be on this car right now Rob, Chris, I Thank admire you. you guys I love the show Thank Appreciate you, it, where in Queens are you, Akeem? St. Albans It's not too far from where you grew up, Rob yep. actually, I, think. Yeah. Yep. I got married St. in St. Albans Chris got married in the Triangle Church Right there on Linden yes. yep. It's walking yep. distance for me yep. So uh, Chris, I watch you every day On First Things First Thank you but I have to say, I'm a part of the Parker Platoon. Oh, yeah! Man. Yeah! Um, you should have saved that line, my man. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, Chris. I'm sorry. So there will be a day that I'll be a part of the, the Broussard. Uh, brigade. Party. Brigade. Yes. Yes. The brigade. We, we, sorry, sorry. We're pretty full. The wait list yeah, is whatever. pretty long. Yeah, whatever. So, yeah, whatever. You know. All right, whatever. <laughs> but but, but go ahead. when So I'm a major NBA fan. I'm going to enjoy the finals no matter what. But I will say, when I look back on my memories of those Lakers with Shaq and Kobe and the Pistons taking those guys on and Tim Duncan and the Spurs and how competitive those games were and how everything felt to come down to the last minute, I just feel like the, the game these days do come down to who shoots the best from the three. And there is no post-up game. There is no, like, you don't even see back cuts anymore in, in the NBA these days. Well, the except set. with the Warriors. The Warriors are one of the Well, well, well the done. Warriors, yeah, for sure. For sure. The Warriors are probably the only fundamentally sound team anymore. I mean, look at the Nets. They couldn't even run a set. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so they, they didn't nah, even know how to run a set. I, like I said, I, I don't have any problem, Rob, with what the callers are saying. They agree with me. They I, think no, I'm but they I agree. just don't blame Steph. That's ridiculous. They I agree mean, with I've me. I've talked about how, you know, you can't let the game become too three-point heavy, but that's just not Steph's fault. He's just great at it. That's not his fault. Everybody wants to follow him. All right, we got Celebrity Corner coming up next, but first, Steve DeSager with the update. Steve. Oh, hello, gentlemen. What's it? Get- yeah. Even Steve agrees with me. <laughs> I just want to say, as someone who's seen a little bit of NBA, let's not get too nostalgic about what the league used to be because it was pretty ugly basketball at times in the 90s, okay? Thank you. Hey, Fighting what? And all I, that. I was, just the other day, I looked it, at this, it. This, Steve, that didn't look that you ready? Pretty, the me. Pistons in 2003 held 11 opponents under 70 points, including five games that, in a is row. Is that where you want to go? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> is that I'm just where we want to go So, back Steve, to? I hear what you're saying, but I can't take all the threes and the dunks. I'm sorry. Yeah, I covered I the Mike Fratello Cavaliers. I've been covering this league since 1987. In the 60s, believe me. Full games in the 60s. There were no some, doubt. Those, you know, like Indiana Pacers versus whomever in the 90s playoff games. If you could get to 82, you yeah, could probably win the game. That's right. true. Come on.
Absolutely. Okay. 